See? You never know who's going to show up at NXT. It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Are you ready? No! I said, are you ready? And so say two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Come on. Let's go. Destroy them. Finally, <laughs> some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these indie invaders may have gotten more than they bargained for.
Hey, Hunter, you mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. Yeah, you guys are real clever, showing up here again in your cute little costumes. Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York, dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code Mr. CQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. Oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog, Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all of my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? Yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug, or...? BCW? Oh, yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth, and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not-so-clever way. But I have a different proposal instead. You want to be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanction match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? You got yourself a deal. That's great, because after next week, your life will be changed forever. What do you mean by that? I don't care, as long as it means we'll mm -hmm. never have to see these two losers again. The so-called Indie Invaders are back again this week, this time for an official match with Buzz taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the competition that Buzz has faced on the Indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah. I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match? Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm going to go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is going to try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. Uh, people who win the lottery are millionaires. Maybe your opponent is the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. All right, well, I'll keep thinking on it. <laughs> 